What's going on family? Welcome back to the channel. So I received an update about the Corvette, the C5Z06. So that's what we're here for today is to give you guys an update on the car. Before we jump into it, if you guys could please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and leave a comment below. So I received a phone call from Speedy Incorporated on Tuesday morning which is super impressive to me because the last performance shop that I took my car to said they would not be able to look at my car for at least a month. And it was about a month and a half before I reached out to them and asked them what's going on. And so it was a uh, much slower process. Now I did have an appointment with Speed Incorporated, so that could be the difference. But either way, I'm super appreciative of the fact that they jumped on it right away. So the information that they gave me is that they tried to use a stethoscope to determine where the noise was coming from and they could not identify where the noise was coming from. So they took off the oil filter, they cut it in half and they found metal in the oil. From the day that I got the car, from the day I did the first oil change, I did recognize that there were metal shavings um, in the oil from the first oil change, okay? so. Um, now, the individual that sold the car to me may see this video. It is what it is. I do think that he knew something was going on with the car and maybe that's why he got rid of it. Uh, I remember him mentioning several times, if anything happens to the engine, you can just throw in this engine or throw in that engine. So it was kind of like his hints to be like, hey, you know, it may not last that long. So, but here you go. All right. It is what it is. Um, that metal, I probably should have done something at that time, but I just kept changing the oil and, and, and would just, you know, keep driving the car. And as you guys know, I drive the car hard, so I will take some responsibility as well. So Speed Incorporated asked me if I wanted them to proceed with diagnosing the C5 Z06. And I said, yeah, go ahead and do it, uh, because I do want to know how bad it is. So the next step is going to be that they check out the cam and the lifters to see if that's where the metal is coming from. If those items are okay, then this is bad news. That means that there's an issue with the bottom end of the engine. Now you guys know that I'm always open and transparent with how much I'm spending and uh, you know how much it costs to have this car. I represent the average owner uh, who's not gonna break down the engine and break down the transmission and do all this other stuff. Uh, most people are taking these cars to the shop, which is the reason why these cars are expensive okay um and i'm they are expensive but um don't i'm not making it seem like they're not expensive i'm just saying that you know some people think that they're not that bad because they do the work themselves so the next step is to look at the cam to look at the lifters um, if the issue is not there then that means that the uh there's an issue at the bottom end of the engine now for them to look at the cam and look at the lifters it is uh 650 bucks or somewhere in that range so it's going to be a pretty little penny. I will hope that details actually taking the cam out to inspect the cam. If so, that's not a bad price because you have to remove the steering rack and do a whole bunch of other things unless you just take the engine out, which they have the technology and the tools to do so. So I did ask them, what's the absolute worst case scenario? They said the worst case scenario is that an engine rebuild and it would be 4,500 bucks. So again, that's worst case scenario. Okay. Now, what am I gonna do if it is the bottom end? I'm gonna do one of two things. Number one is that I'm gonna put it back up for sale. Now I did take down the for sale post because I don't have the car in my possession. So if someone wants to come look at it, I don't have it to, to show it. Um, so I'm not gonna keep it up for that reason. I will put it back up for sale, but I will be dropping the price 3,000. So I'm gonna drop it down to 12,000 um, because obviously, you know, it's not just a cam and lifters like I thought it would be. So now it's gonna go down to 12,000. In terms of cost, I'm putting it up for 12,000. Some people may think that's unrealistic because the car doesn't run. Um, it is what it is. What I'm not gonna do is that I'm not gonna go down to single digits. What I mean by that is I'm not gonna sell the car for 8,000. I'm not selling the car for 9,000. You know, seven, six, five, four, I'm not selling the car that low. The second option, if it doesn't sell, I am going to just sit it to the side and I'll worry about it later, okay? I will make it a project car that I can work on on weekends when I have time available. So if it sits for a year, it just sits for a year. It's not like it's costing me anything. I'll cut off the insurance on it and then I'll be fine. I probably should do that already. Maybe I should cut that insurance off. I'll work on it when I have time. I'll probably grab another car and add it to the channel and that way I can have fun. And then, you know, every now and then I'll be working on the car to get that right, okay? 
and it'll be a great learning experience and it'll be great content. Just not the kind of content that I want, you know, but it is what it is, right? I like to have fun, um, but when you have fun, then you break stuff. And when you break stuff, you got to fix it. And if you ain't going to do it yourself, then you got to pay for it. All right. So that's the update. They couldn't hear the, They couldn't find out where the noise was coming from just from listening. They cut the uh, oil filter, found metal in the oil. And now they're going to go on to look at the cam, look at the lifters, see if that's the issue. If it's not, then it's from the bottom end. And I don't know what I'm going to do from there. All right. Um, in terms of like letting them continue or just go ahead and, and bring the car back home and put it back up for sale or, or what. OK, so I'm kind of all over the place right now. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate you guys commenting. Like, I appreciate all of that. We're a small channel, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing and we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. OK, I just need you guys' help. I just need you guys' support. Um, and I'm not asking for anything but your time and, and for you to click that button, that subscribe button. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you next time.